Hello everybody, welcome to Blind Tech Tutorial Hub. I am Madhusudan. I'm back after a long time. So thank you for clicking this video. This is going to be an interesting podcast for you. If you are a book lover, if you have a, a kind of courage, if you have a huge interest on reading books and or the article or the everything all about reading kind of things and if you are involved in these things because I am making this video for you guys so stay tuned in today I am doing a demonstration regarding book worm windows application which is basically used for reading any type of ebook any type of ebook it could be epov it could be pdf it could be plain text or it could be office word or any type of ebook that you have in your computer you have in your online site or that you will be downloading sooner or later so this kind of book can be read easily without any hassles we are facing a lot of difficulties on our reading practice as we know a lot of software are inaccessible for us and some of the software are paid application which like everybody could not afford those software so this demonstration gives you a quick information regarding bookworm application which is totally free and it has a lot of feature it is accessible with your screen reader that that you're using it could be nvidia jaws or even narrator so let's get into the demonstration the download link of bookworm is given in the description you can click in the description link below to get the download copy for you folder view list cock free mp3 recorder 21 of 6b Bookworm 2 of 60. Okay, this is Bookworm. I have already installed on my laptop. I'm using Windows 10 Home Edition. So it's called Bookworm. Book B O O K W O R M. Bookworm. So let me open this application. Bookworm. Table of contents tree view. So interface is quite easy to navigate. We have a left and right side and at the press ctrl plus table of contents tree at the at, at the one of the side we can see the table of content if you have opened any book you can see the table of content um, of that particular book if you haven't opened this is not the um, important one so let me hit tab again press ctrl plus o to open an epic read only so it says press ctrl control plus o to open book so it's quite simple we can open any ebook by hitting control plus o so that things i'm gonna show you later so let me go to the menu option that we have on this application file submenu alt i just now press alt key to get into the menu this is a file menu we have some other menus i'm gonna hit right and left arrow to cycle between the menu tools submenu alt plus t this is tools speech submenu alt plus speech. s annotation sub annotation help submenu help systems system file submenu file so in file we have couple of things i'm gonna press down arrow open ctrl -O. this is open and the shortcut it says control plus o it's quite straightforward save as plain text this is save as plain text you can either save any of the book you have opened here in the plain text that is the, the txt format close current book ctrl -D. this is another option where you'll be able to close the current book that has been open currently recent book submenu up. so this is the another option the sub menu this is recent book you can see all the books that you have previously loaded previously opened to this application exit e this is exit it's quite simple so i'm gonna uh jump into the next um that is Files. menu tools menu. this is tools go to page ctrl g on a go to page control z if you want to be in the specific page for example if you wanted to open page number 130 of any of the book you are open you can do that sort of things by 
heading to this option and just type into the edit field your pay desired page number find in book this is find in books you can um, find the books or the books uh, other information find the next f3 unavailable find next find and preview find previous previous and next render page this is render rendering the copies preferences CTR. and this is the preferences where I'm gonna like so you the preferences option may uh, after the completion of this menus tools speech sub menu so this is speech here we can get really important information regarding our speech so this bookworm application has an ability to reading or the listening to the book in audio audio just like an audio format it allow us to configure our speech setting so if you have installed some voices or the default voice that you are using with your windows then it could be used for reading your book play f5 unavailable key for playing the book you can hit f5 pause slash resume pause slash resume f6 stop f7 unavailable s stop f7 it's quite straightforward f5 for playing the book f6 is for pausing and resuming the same content and the f7 for stopping your reading rewind all left arrow unavailable r this is a rewind fast and forward. fast forward voice profile and this is voice profile so i'm gonna check this voice profile what's the inside let's jump into it i'm gonna hit enter voice profiles dialog select voice profile combo box deep reading collapsed this is deep reading i'm gonna hit down arrow this is express human like and this is human like these are the some speech preferences that you can adjust within this application if you wanted to listen to the text to speech in Ex a deep reading deep reading manner or in express a express manner human -like. or in a human human like manner then you can just adjust all the settings easily i'm gonna click Ex deep reading deep reading or or you can just let let it be you can just uh you don't need to do anything for this option this is not the like necessary or it's a supple supplementary kind of things you can whether you can choose or whether you you, you can just leave it so next thing i'm going to show you that Fox is speech annotation sub -menu. annotation and annotation menu i'm in the in the in the menu bar add bookmark this is add bookmark so this is option called add book bookmark you can add your bookmark and you can just find it them later take note take notes so this application has ability to take note quickly that that just just making note or some if you are getting some Im important uh, information inside the book then you can just take note of it it's so cool so interesting feature view bookmarks this is a view bookmark you can always view all the bookmarks that you have done previously manage notes and this is called manage notes you can manage the notes that you have taken notes exporter unavailably add book so these Annotate. are the things help sub this is help sub menu help bookworm license help Con license contribution check for, update. check for update you can obviously check for the update help. so let's get into the settings that i'm gonna show you tool speech sub menu this is tool sub, tool sub menu In inside the tools go to page preferences we have preferences let me hit enter bookworm preferences dialog list general one of three um, there are three options general speech to speech reading and reading it's general one of three I'm gonna click on general let me hit tab user interface grouping display language combo box English collapsed display language this is combo box English there are other option if you wanted to use other language beside English you can have this all speak user interface messages checkbox checked speech speak uh, I'm sorry speak inter what's that speak user inter user interface messages this is checkbox check I don't know what this this gonna do but this is the default settings so I won't change it open recently opened books from the last position checkbox checked here comes very important information open recently open book 
Open recently opened books from the last from the last reading page or something like open that. Open recently opened books from the last position. Last position. Okay. So this is the very important option that you need to turn on. Use open recently opened books from the last position checkbox checked. So it's already checked. Uh, what it really does is if you are reading some book and if you just close this application and um, if you wanted to reopen the same book you can read the last position that where you have left earlier this is an interesting feature so we don't need to like scroll to the bottom or the mid of the page or we don't need to search for the specific keyword to get into the specific paragraph that we were reading earlier it's very simple our circle will be at the last position that we have left so this is the very important option that you need to turn on if you have turn off then make sure to t turn on this option use file name instead of book title checkbox not checked so this is quite s straightforward miscellaneous grouping play pagination sound checkbox play pagination sound like if we are cycled between the piece or other paragraph it will play some little sound uh, pagination sound that would be also another benefit for us our pages have has been changed we can just get notice about it play our sound when the current page contains notes checkbox checked this is also straightforward highlight bookmark positions checkbox check highlight bookmark position um the highlight we can see in the screen or the uh, this application inter interface for low vision and other sighted user this will be handy automatically check for updates checkbox checked automatically check for update make sure to turn in the turn on this option because this application um, is in the developing phase I have to tell you everybody this application is in the developing phase so there are a lot of things to manage and a lot of things to get get ready this is not the final final version although we can use the software publicly the developer are making their best to make the software accessible and friendly and other other things they are putting other option so make sure to check enable this option for the, the checking the update file associations grouping manage file association so this is another option where we can set file association with this application I have associate this application with PDF and EPUB format make sure you can also do the same okay button or you can even um, associate this application with all the document format cancel bu okay button okay. so I'm gonna click OK button so let me open one book for today's demonstration I'm gonna hit control O choose a blank so choose a file I'm gonna paste the K I'm going to browse uh, my um, book which I was reading earlier. Okay. Address search command module tree view level two downloads collapsed one of one. So items view programs not selected one of twenty last week. T. The molecule of more how earlier this last week grouping expanded. The molecule of more how a single chemical in your molecule of more. This is the book I'm reading. Choose any the molecule of more how a single chemical in your brain drives love, sex, and creativity and will determine the fate of the human race by Daniel Z. Lieberman and Daniel Z. Lieberman and Michael E. Long and Michael E. Long book worm. Table of contents tree view. Level zero the molecule of more how a this is table of content we are into the table of content option you can cycle between the option by hitting up and down arrow chapter 3 domination one of chapter 2 drugs one of one level one this is chapter 2 so I am in the chapter 2 let me press tab for getting into the reading pen page 40 chapter 2 drugs edit read only multi-line a guy walks past the restaurant smells burgers cooking he imagines taking a bite he can almost taste you can read this entire book with your screen reader entirely with your screen reader by pressing up and down arrow or the read all command also you can hit it he's on a diet but at this point he can't think of anything he wants or or you can also um, read this book with the speech auto speech that we have inbuilt in our windows you can hit f5 yeah he's on a diet but at this point he can't think of anything he wants more than that hamburger so he goes in and orders one sure enough the first bite is wonderful but this cost 
F6 for pause. F6 again to resume from the same position. Second resume. bite, not so much. With each bite, his enjoyment is lost. Or F7 to stop speech. Stopped. So this is very handy option that you can get within this application. I'm just showing you the demonstration, small demonstration of Bookworm. You can get this application from the link given in the description. So now I'm at the end of this audio podcast. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And I hope you find this video useful. I will be back in next video. Thank you everybody for listening and watching. Stay safe.